Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to just recap the basics of the read operation which we have covered previously and also understand the value of delta V or the voltage swing which will go to our sense amplifier. Many of you would feel that this is not important from the examination point of view. However, for conceptual understanding of one transistor DRAM, read operation and refresh mechanism, I strongly encourage people to watch this clip which will take a couple of minutes to understand the delta V or the voltage swing happening across DRAM. Okay, let's quickly get started here. In the previous clip, we have already seen a one transistor DRAM where this was my word line, this was my bit line, some authors also call it as a data line. This was C bit. We saw that the value of C bit is very high. This is my C cell and this was X. For the read operation, we saw that what we need to do is make our bit equal to VDD by 2 irrespective of whether you are reading a 1 or a 0. Make your bit equal to VDD by 2 and then make your word line high. Once this happens, what will happen is Let's presume through some waveform that my word line has gone high and let's presume something present at x at that point of time. x is this node. So x could be high or x could be low. So these are high and low levels of x. And our bit line is at VDD by 2. So let's quickly draw that as well. So this is nothing but VDD by 2. So this is x high and x low. Now when word line goes high, let's presume that my x was 1, so let's draw this 2 first. So if my x was 1 and my word line has gone high, this was VDD by 2 and this is 1 means VDD, what can we say? This node will go up and this will come down. So x will go down by some value here. At the same time, my bit line will go up by delta V. So it will go up slightly by delta V. In the other case, where my X would have been 0, this was still VDD by 2. Then, due to charge sharing and word line was high, this will go up and this will come down. If my X would have been a 0, it would go up by small value. Whereas, assuming that my bit was VDD by 2 initially, it will go down by a small value. So suppose if this is my VDD by 2 line dotted, so it goes up by delta V in case the 1 was present. So we have read a 1. It goes down by delta V. So this is going up. This is just an arrow. This is going up. Goes down by delta V if a 0 is present, which we have seen. So this is down by delta V. Now we want to understand what is this value of delta V. Once we understand this, the refresh mechanism becomes a very interesting thing to understand. So if you have understood this, that the bit line initially being at VDD by 2, when a 1 is being read, it goes up by delta V. When a 0 is being read, it goes down by delta V. Now this bit line will go to the sense amplifier and we'll see how does it give us the correct output in the next clip. Before that, let's see the value of delta V. What is this value of delta V? So here on the screen, I'm trying to find out the value of delta V. It's a very simple mathematics, not important from the examination point of view, but very important from the understanding point of view. So initially, let's assume the voltage present on bit line was nothing but VB. We know that in this entire mathematics, I'm going to represent C bit as CB and C cell as CC. Initial voltage on the bit line was VB. We know that Q is equal to CV. So we can easily write VB equal to Q by C and this is the charge present on the bit line and this is the capacitance of the bit line. Similarly, for this cell also we can write the initial voltage cell voltage as VC. This was the initial voltage and we can write as nothing to be but QC by CC initial cell charge upon the value of the C cell. So when word line is equal to high, charge sharing will take place and will get the common voltage across my bit line and my node X, which is nothing but final voltage, which is as simple as QC plus QB upon CC plus CB. Initial charges upon the initial values of the capacitance. Now we want to find the change in voltage on bit line. 
we want to find delta v correct because this is what is going to go to the sense amplifier this is nothing but the initial voltage minus the final voltage on the bit line so initial voltage on bit line was nothing but qb by cb which i have written minus the final voltage which i have got here final voltage is same on node x also and on bit line also now i've just done some mathematics i have cross multiplied and divided by cb i'm getting this as my term and if i just rearrange the terms and substitute this equation 1 and 2 into that i get my final delta v to be equal to c cell into vb minus vc upon cb plus cc now what is vb minus vc is a very interesting thing to understand initially we make our bit line vdd by 2 for the read operation so if it's a zero present at c cell this is going to be vdd by 2 minus zero or it could be vdd by 2 minus vdd because it could be a one if it's a one then this is nothing but a vdd in both cases the difference is going to be vdd by 2 in either case so that is what i have put here it's a difference so i'm ignoring the negative sign or a positive sign i'm just putting the difference to be vdd by 2 so it's nothing but c cell upon cc is nothing but c cell upon cb which is nothing but c bit plus c cell into vdd by 2 and if we put some standard values of c cell which is nothing but 40 femtofarads and c bit as 1 picofarad and vdd by 2 as 2.5 presuming our vdd is 5 volts we get our delta v is nothing but 100 millivolts so we have to detect this small difference of 100 millivolts to the sense amplifier in simple words what this means is if we are doing a read one that means my bit line is going to be vdd by 2 initially plus delta v and that delta v if vdd by 2 is 2.5 then this delta v is nothing but 100 millivolts and if we are doing a read zero initially the bit line is vdd by 2 minus delta v it is nothing but 2.5 minus 100 millivolts so this is 2.6 and this is nothing but 2.4 and this is what we need to detect this delta v difference to the sense amplifier which we are going to see in the next clip hope you have followed the delta v value and you have also understood how the read operation takes place now we will go ahead and extend this to sense amplifier and see the final working stay tuned take care thank you very much